Okay, well, if you've never used this Gorilla Glue, uh, wood glue before, then you need to get you some. I've been using it for probably about uh, close to 10 years, probably already. And um, if you read the instructions on it, it says uh, just, you know, you have to clamp it for about 20 to 30 minutes. And uh, of course, I'm one of them type of people that like to let stuff go for a while, even overnight sometimes, depending on the temperature and all that. But uh, yeah, they're not lying. You can literally clamp it for 20, 30 minutes um, and unclamp it and you're ready to go. Um, it's waterproof when it dries and it dries a natural color. So it's perfect for like what I'm using here. This is just some uh, quarter inch uh, subfloor, uh, Luon we call it. Um, and so we're going to do a little test here real quick. And uh, I'm going to put some of this on there and we're going to stick these two together. I'm going to clamp it and then we're going to come back in 20 minutes. And we're going to see uh, what happens when we break it apart. So let's go ahead and put some on there. It's still open from a while ago. I was using it in here. So we won't put very much here. Let's just... I don't want to make it enough to where it'll smash out everywhere. This wood is kind of porous, so... I'll have to put... Put a little bit. That's enough. That's probably even a little bit too much for... For what you'd normally do. And then it, it's not going to smash out, not with this clamp. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let's take it like, yeah, let's just do it like that. Let's flip it over, put that on there. And then yeah, it's not going to smash out. And then let's put this clamp on there. I only got one hand. <laughs> I only got one hand, man. This is one of them strong ones. Oh. If you want to get some of these clamps, I'll leave a link in the description. They're pretty awesome. So we're just going to do that one uh, clamp in the middle. It's a pretty strong clamp, but overall, really, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that if I wanted to join that permanently. I would, I would put uh, another piece of wood on each side and probably use a C clamp or something like that. But anyway, uh, all right, we'll come back here in a minute. Okay, it's been a little over 20 minutes. Um, it's winter time. It's a little bit cool, so I waited a few extra minutes. And uh, so we're going to see what happens. So I'm going to use this little Milwaukee box here. Since it's pretty strong, we're going to use it to break it. I'm going to go ahead and just see what happens. I only got one hand here, but let's see what happens. I'm going to try to break it right now. And we're going to see where it breaks at. All right, so I could hear the wood crack, and uh, it held pretty good. I don't know if it's gonna hold all the way. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Dang, yeah, it's, it's holding pretty good, which is shocking because it's really cool down here on this floor. You can see how it, it's gonna break the wood before it breaks the glue. It acted like it was going to come apart right there on that little edge, but it ain't going too very easy. Let's try it again. <laughs> yeah, that's all you're going to get. Just going to rip it. It's just going to rip the wood apart. <clears throat> yeah, see. And you know what? Yeah, it's still not quite all the way dry. So this time of year in the winter, I would definitely recommend. Um, Either getting it into a really warm environment, which this wood wasn't before I brought it in. And then uh, make sure your glue is warm and make sure it don't freeze. And then make sure that all of your wood and everything is fully warmed up to at least 60 or 70 degrees. So yeah, it's a little tacky. So like I said, with that one clamp right in the middle, you can see that it, it, it stuck really good in the middle. So we're just having the one clamp in the middle. You're not going to get full clamping force on that. So I'm not surprised, you know. Um, but overall, like I said, um, you can glue anything. I've glued 2x4s, 2x6s. I've glued everything with this stuff, and it will not come apart once it dries. Um, it says to clamp on there 20 to 30 minutes, but it also says fully cures uh, at around the 24-hour mark. So that's what I would do. Just leave it clamped as long as you can.
And uh, yeah, if you want to go pick some of it up, they've got a couple different sizes. So what I'll do is I will upload the link for you for the um, Gorilla Glue Amazon store. So yeah, just check the description below and I'll have the links in there and you can go get some of it. They got a lot of products. They've got duct tape, all different types of stuff. Uh, the epoxy, I've done a video on that. So you, if you want to see that one, you can go watch it. But all right, well, catch you later.